What's up guys, Shaggy Double N here. Gonna do a comic book tour, graphic novel collection, room tour kind of thing. So yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna give you a quick look around. This is all like my comics I have. There's some games. Got Fate Zero, Banner some statues and then more comics over there and yeah I'll start I'll start over here I'll show you like a closer look at the comics I have so starting with like Marvel got Infinity Captain America Hawkeye those are three omnibuses I have Civil War 2 Spider-Man the other Amazing Spider-Man Family Business Avengers World Trust Spider-Man the Gauntlet uh, Spider-Man Death of Gene DeWolf Spider-Man Reign, Amazing Spider-Man, like his first appearance, Stan Lee one. Uh, we got a rogue statue. This is actually my girlfriend's. It's uh, it's like based on her newer look. It's a pretty cool statue, actually. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so Ultimate Spider-Man. I'm missing a couple volumes, but I'll get more. Uh, Spider-Man, Mark Miller. Spider-Man Big Time, Spider-Island, Ends of the Earth, Grim Hunt. Those are all like the Dan Slot ones, besides the Mark Miller one, obviously. Uh, here's more like the classic Spider-Man. Craven's Last Hunt, pretty much the essential story you have to read for any Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man Death of the Stacys, that title is self-explanatory. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Girl, Who Killed Gwen Riley. That one's more about, like, an alternate reality where Mary Jane and Spider-Man had a kid. And she became Spider-Girl. And, yeah, that one was, that's a pretty good book. Spider-Girl in general is just amazing. I, I should really get more of them. That's the only one I have. Uh, Spider-Man The Original Clone Saga. Um, then Spider-Man The 90s Clone Saga with Ben Riley and all that. There's like five or six of these big books right here. They're, I need to get the rest of those. Like super 90s event. Same thing with this one. Vengeance of Venom. Spider-Man Torment. Todd McFarlane. And some Doctor Strange books. Way of the Weird. The Flight of Bones. And then The Oath. Which is probably the most popular one. The way of the weird is like the current run going on right now. Secret War. This is like Brian Michael Bendis stuff. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Legacy. Secret Invasion. The Infiltration. Avengers Disassembled. House of M. Original Sin. And then New Avengers. More Brian Michael Bendis. Uh, got like Volume 1 through 5 and then 9 there. Missing a couple there. But those are the only ones I really care about. It's my favorite Avengers team too, by the way. Uh, Civil War, Road to Civil War, and then Civil War. Uh, Mighty Avengers, Siege, Pre Prelude, and then Siege. Infinity Gauntlet, and then the original Secret Wars. And then moving down. We got X-23, Chaos Theory. I'm a big X-23 fan. Uh, Dakin, I don't really like Dakin that much though. Uh, Dakin X-23 Collision, X-Force Volume 1 and 2, X-23 The Complete Collection. And then these are just like duplicates I have because I got the, the bigger books right here. These are just like the, the ones I started out with. And then X-23 The Killing Dream, X-23 Target X, Wolverine, Old Man Logan. Then here's the Garth Ennis Punisher run, volume 1 through 10. Punisher, welcome back, Frank. Jessica Jones, volume 1 through 4. And then Jessica Jones Pulse. More Brian Michael Bendis stuff. Mortal Iron Fist, volume 1 and 2. And then here's all my Daredevil stuff. Daredevil, Man Without Fear and Born Again. And then Daredevil by Frank Miller, volume 1 through 3. 
Brian Michael Bendis again. Daredevil, Volume 1 through 3. And then this is the Ed, Ru Ed Brew Baker one. Still need to get Volume 2 and 3. And then Daredevil ends of End of Days. Daredevil, Guardian Devil. And then Daredevil, Cyclone's Kiss. And then Runaways, Volume 1 through 4. The Hulk, Planet Hulk, and then World War Hulk, pretty much the sequel to Planet Hulk. And then my personal favorite is Future Imperfect. That one's a really good story, alternate reality stuff I love, so that one pretty much was my favorite. And then this is the current like Star Wars comics going on right now. Star Wars Volume 1 through 4. And then Star Wars Darth Vader, Volume 1 through 4, and then Vader Down, which is like the crossover between those two series. It's a very good Star Wars books. Very good. And now, going down to DC. Starting with, pretty much this whole role is Batman, so I'll start from the beginning. Batman Noir, Batman Gothic, Batman the Killing Joke, Batman Europea, Little Constantine figure, next to there uh joker the joker death of the family and then this is like the scott snyder gray capullo stuff uh it's kind of backwards but yeah starting with volume nine going down bloom super heavy end game graveyard shift zero year dark city secret city death of the family court of Owl court of Owl Owls and City of Owls, Batman and Robin Eternal, Batman I Am Gotham and I Am Suicide Volume 1 and 2, Batman the Black Mirror, Scott Snyder, Batman Hush, Batman Heart of Hush, and Batman Beyond Hush Beyond. Hush is my favorite Batman villain, in my opinion. He's great. I wish they made more books about him. Um, I know I'm missing a couple, like, Hush books, but those are, like, the main ones. Batman Under the Red Hood. Batman A Death in the Family. Batman Dark Knight Returns. Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, Batman Year One. Frank Miller. Batman and Son. Batman Long Halloween and Dark Victory. Read those side by side, because Dark Victory is the sequel to Long Halloween. And it's written by the same people. Batman Nightfall, first volume. Still working on getting the other two volumes. And then these are this is my favorite Batman event is Batman No Man's Land, volume one through four. I know there was like some prelude stuff that you could get from the series, but I just wanted the main stuff. I didn't really care about all that. But yeah, great, great story. Basically, like, Gotham City's, like, hit by an earthquake, and they just gotta, like, deal with the fallout of that, and, yeah, a bunch of, like, side characters get a lot of, a lot of time. Like, Azrael, Nightwing, Robin, and Batgirl, they all get, like, their time, so I like that. Batman the Cult. Batman and Grendel. This one actually got signed by Matt Wagner. I'll show you the signature. Right there. And then he drew a little Batman and Grendel. Pretty neat. And then, next to that, Tales of the Multiverse, Batman Vampire. That's like an Elseworld story. Batman by Brian K. Vaughn. And then Batman by Kevin Smith. Batman the Man Who Laughs. Batman and the Outsiders. Just read that recently. I really like The Outsiders. Batman Streets of Gotham. Uh, Batman Long Shadows. Batman R.I.P. Batman Battle for the Cowl. Uh, this one I actually got signed as well by Tony S. Daniel. Yeah. Right there he signed it. He pretty much drew and 
wrote this whole entire story, so that was pretty cool. And then got a little Nightwing figure. Pretty cool. Who doesn't like Nightwing? Then Batman Terror. These are like little smaller stories. Batman War Crimes. Gotham by Gaslight, which they just announced is being made into an animated movie, which that'll be awesome. Another Elseworld story. Both of these are actually the doom that came to Gotham. And then going down to the Green Lantern stuff. Green Lantern Rebirth. A lot of this is written by Jeff Johns, by the way. Green Lantern No Fear. Green Lantern Hell Jordan. Or Wanted Hell Jordan. And then we got a Blue Beetle figure. Got a lot of these little figures. They're pretty cool. They come with like the animated movies. They're like these special editions. Uh, Green Lantern Rage of the Red Lanterns. Green Lantern the Sinestro War Corps. War of the Green Lanterns. Agent Orange. Brightest Day. Blackest Night. And Brightest Day again, which is actually... A different series, which is, that's volume one right there. I'll have to get volume two and three later. Uh, and then this is New 52 stuff. Green Lantern Sinestro. The Revenge of the Black Hand. The End. And this was like around, like the end was around when like Jeff Johns was doing like his final Green Lantern story. So that's like his... His last story that he did. Green Lantern Dark Days. Test of Wills. The Life Qu Quotation. Um, Renegade. Rise of the Third Army. Wrath of the First Lantern. Sinestro, The Demon Within. Sinestro Sacrifice. Sinestro Rising. Sinestro Fall of Sinestro. That's a lot of Sinestros. Red Lantern Atrocities. That one's actually there because um, I actually really like the concept of Supergirl being like a Red Lantern. Yeah, she's like... There she is. And for some reason Guy Gardner at the time was a Red Lantern. And he had this weird like handlebar mustache. It was really weird. But the, the Supergirl stuff was cool though. I actually like that concept a lot. And then to kind of the current stuff going on. Green Lantern's Rage Planet. And then Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. And then some Flash stuff. There's a Flash book right there. Right here. Lightning Strikes Twice. It's like the current Rebirth stuff going on right now. And then this is the Jeff John stuff. Uh, Rebirth. Dash lead, Death of the Rogues, and then Flashpoint. Those are all like the big Flash stories. And then moving on to Teen Titans. Jeff Johns again. This is like my favorite run of Teen Titans. The Kids Game, Family Lost, Beast Boy, Beast Boys and Girls. The Future is Now, which that one's my favorite volume. Because alternate reality stuff again. Pretty cool. Uh, Life and Death, Around the World, and then there's like a it's Titans Old Friends. Has nothing to do with this series. It's like a separate thing. Kingdom Come, which should be made into an animated movie, and so should Justice. Alex Ross, great artist. Injustice Year One collection and then year two collection waiting for the other years because there's like five years so they need to make three four and five earth two new 52 i love this whole series it was great different takes on characters and i love it earth two the gathering tower of fate battle cry the dark age the kryptonian collision Earth 2, Wars End, Volume 1 and 2. 
And then Justice League New 52 Origin, Jeff Johns again. This one is, this is the version that like came with the movie. Yeah. Pretty cool. I think that code is useless by the way, so anybody trying to snag a code, be my guest. And Justice League Earth 2, Grant Morrison. This one also comes with the movie, which is The Crisis on Two Earths. Great movie, by the way, for anybody that didn't watch it. Jeff Johns, again, Forever Evil, good story. Jeff Johns again, Justice League Dark Side War, Part 1 and 2. And then another little figure, Harley Quinn figure. Um, Superman, American Alien. Great Superman story. Superman's not my favorite character, but I got some of the books that I like him in. Like, these are the main books that I have, that the stories I like that he's in. Birthright. Red Sun. That should be into, made into an animated movie, too. Superman, Lois and Clark. The Death of Superman. And then there's a Batman book, Legends of the Dark Knight. That couldn't fit on the second row, so I just put it there. Now, moving down here. We got The Art of Blizzard Entertainment. I like uh, collecting like art books and stuff, like concept art books for like games or comics or anything really. Because I, I just like seeing like what could have been. And then this is the new updated encyclopedia for DC. Uh, I picked that up too for like a cheap price during Black Friday, so I got a pretty good deal on that. And then this is the old Marvel encyclopedia. I should probably update that one at some point just to be up to date. Um. And then we got Mirror's Edge Catalyst art book, which I really like. Mirror's Edge a lot. It's one of my favorite video game franchises. And then the art of Naughty Dog. Which if you guys don't know who Naughty Dog is, they made Crash, Jack and Daxter, and Uncharted, and The Last of Us. So they make great games. Uh, Massive Black Volume 2. This one is cool too because it actually has concept art for a lot of things like Transformers, G.I. Joe, um, Infamous, which was the reason I got it. A bunch of games that got canceled, but I mostly got, mostly got this art book for the Infamous like concept art, which is really cool. Uh, Spider-Man, Inside the, the World of Your Friendly Neighborhood Hero. It's an encyclopedia, pretty much just about like his whole career in comics like all the people like he he had relationships with like the equipment he uses all his stories all the characters like his villains you know side characters what he did in like the 2000s and the 90s the 80s all the costumes he had yeah pretty much Everything you need to know about Spider-Man. Because if you guys didn't know yet, he's actually my favorite favorite Marvel character. Um, these are just some previews and books. I only got three of them. Um, then Fell. This is a pretty good book. This is a Warren Ellis book. I actually just read that. And then here I got some... Some, like, little art books. Um, Batman and Harley Quinn. Last Call. Uh, that's junk. Uh, this is actually a CD by A Sound of Thunder. It's uh, based on the Shadow Man stuff from Valiant. And it's just, like, a music CD based on the character, so... It's really cool. That's why I got it. I like metal music and the character of Shadow Man. So, it... Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's the band. And there's Shadow Man. Oh, yeah. 
It's cool. There's the songs. Uh, Legend of Korra art. If anybody like Legend of Korra fans out there, or Avatar fans. Uh, the Art of Horizon, Zero Dawn. That one's pretty cool. Great game, by the way. Street Fighter V collection. Yeah. I just love these little art books. These all came with, like, collector's editions of games and stuff. Oh, sorry I didn't show you guys this one. Give you a little sneak peek at that one. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Sometimes I go all out and get those those ones. Um, the Art of Uncharted 4. I'm actually not going to flip through this one. This one actually has spoilers in it, so no one wants to get spoiled. Uh, yeah. Don't, uh, don't flip through this if you didn't play through the game yet. Or didn't beat it. And then I have... There's a controller there. Uh, I have an art book of... Hitman, the new game. This one came with the collector's edition. Get a little preview of that. It's just basically like art for like the setting and all that. Some of the NPCs in the game. Yeah. And that's just a bunch of magazines and junk. And moving along, I got PS3, PS4. There's an Xbox One under there. Yeah. There it is. This is covered up because I don't want it to get dusty. Um, little Halo ODST figure. And then these are all my Green Lantern rings. All the Emotional spectrum colors. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, there's my TV. And then moving along. Starting with the statues. Got a statue of Nathan Drake here. Pretty cool. Agent 47. Ryu. Aloy, and then this one's kind of my personal favorite alongside uh, the Agent 47 one, is the Faith statue from Mirror's Edge. A lot of these statues I got from Collector's Editions, so this one's cool, I like how the, the glasses, like, this is actually plastic, but yeah, it's like cracked glass, it's cool. And these are all my Dragon Ball Z figures. Got Goku, Vegito in the background. Got Trunks, Vegeta in his blue form. And then Frieza. And then I also have this up here. Forgot to show you guys. Ozzy Osbourne little plushy thing. Got a, like a PlayStation sign with Crash in the middle, of course. Little statue over there of like an eagle. Naughty dog. And then moving down to the comics. Got Saga, Volume 1 and 2, Brian K. Vaughn. Uh, we Stand on Guard, Brian K. Vaughn. And Revival, Volume 1 through 4. And I actually got this one signed by Tim Seeley right here and then he drew a little little picture there which was cool yeah so that was cool he was a nice guy and then hack and slash one volume one through three there's actually five volumes but i only have three right now also got this one signed by him because it was made 
he also made hack and slash. Uh, and yeah, there's a glare there. But yeah, that's his signature right there. So yeah, that was cool. Put that to the side. And then Nailbiter, which is like one of my favorite image books. Volume 1 through 6. There's also like a hack and slash crossover. I think it's in volume 5, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so that was a cool little crossover that they did. Thief of Thieves, volume 1 through 6. Walking Dead, volume 1 through 6. Deadly Class, volume 1 through 5. Black Science, volume 1 through 4. Uh, Lazarus, 1 through 5. I also got the first volume signed by Greg Rucka, because this is one of my favorite uh, series. It's actually right there he signed it. Greg Rucka. And then I got Outcast, volume 1 through 4. Morning Glories, volume 1 through 4. Uh, Descender, Volume 1 through 4. Postal, Volume 1 through 3. Um, I think, I think the third, second or third volume I got signed by the artist. Uh, I think it's the... Th yeah, here's the third. I think I'm, the numbers got mixed up, but yeah, there's a... Got signed by Isaac. Uh, Isaac Goodhart. Which, he's right there. Yeah, he does the art for it. So, got to meet him. Um, Wayward Volume 1 through 4. That's a cool series. It's like anime style-ish mixed with like Japanese folklore. Uh, Low Volume 1 through 3. Um, there's a space here, if you're wondering where that what this contained was actually... Wicked and Divine, Volume 1 through 3. I'm just having someone borrow those volumes right now and reading that. Um, Sons of the Devil, Volume 1 through 2. Tokyo Ghost, Volume 1 through 2. And then Empty Zone, Volume 1 through, one through 2. Moving down, this is like my Mark Miller kind of collection. Empress, Kick-Ass, 1 through 3. Nemesis, American Jesus, The Pearl. That one's actually not by Mark Miller. That one's actually by Garth Ennis. Uh, MPH, Super Crooks, Superior, Jupiter's Circle, Book 1 and 2, Jupiter's Legacy, Book 1, Eclip Eclipse, uh, Cyber Force Rebirth, Sex Criminals, Trees, Starve, Ghosted, East of West, Injection, Glitter Bomb, Demonic. And now, moving on to Valiant, which is actually my personal favorite uh, like publisher and universe right now. Valiant, so we got Exo Man of War Volume 1 through 12. This is like the whole... Entire like collection of Exo Manor, but yeah, the Sword, Ninjak, Planet Death, Homecoming, War of Uni uh, At War with Unity, Prelude to Armor Hunters, and then Armor Hunters, Armonies, Dead Hand, Exodus, The Killing List, Long Live the King. And then Armor Hunters, that's like the the event. And then that's just like the tie-in stuff. Then Unity, Volume 1 through 7, To Kill a King, Trapped by Webnet, uh, Webnet. Armor Hunters, The United, Homefront, Warmonger, Revenge of the Armor Hunters. And then Ninjak, Volume 1 through 6. 
very good run too. Ninjak's probably one of my favorite Valiant characters. Um, they're supposed to make a web series about it um, by Bat and Son on YouTube. Uh, Ninjak vs. the Valiant Universe. So, excited to when that comes out. Then we go to Valiant's, one of Valiant's like big characters alongside Exo Manowar and Ninjak. And that would be Bloodshot. Volumes 1 through 6. And then Bloodshot Reborn. Volume 1 through 4. Uh, the World on Fire. The Rise and the Fall. Harbinger Wars. Uh, H-A-R-D Core. Uh, Get Some. The Glitch and Other Tales. Uh, Colorado. The Hunt. Analog Man. And Bloodshot Island. And then these are they actually all uh, written by uh, Jeff Lemire. And Jeff Lemire wrote this as well, The Valiant, which is like a one of, I think that was their first event during their uh, reboot. And then Valiant's other big series is Harbinger Wars. And then Harbinger, Volume 1 through 6. And then Volume 1, Omega Rising. Volume 2, Renegades. Volume 3, uh, Harbinger Wars. Volume 4, Perfect Day. Volume 5, Death of the Renegade. Or Death of a Renegade. And then Omegas. Imperium. Collecting Monsters. Broken Angels. The Vine. Um, and then Stormbreak. And Divinity, Volume 1 through 3. Avar Timewalker, Making History, Breaking History, and Ending History. Wrath of the Eternal Warrior, Risen, Labyrinth, A Deal with a Devil. Rai, Volume 1 through 3, Welcome to New Japan, Battle for New Japan, The Orphan. The Death Defying Dr. Mirage, uh, Faith, Volume 1. I think this one I got. Um... Signed as well by Jody Hauser, who is the writer. Yeah, yeah, Jody Hauser right there. And she actually signed that. So that was cool. Fate's like one of the more popular like characters right now from Valiant. Savage, um, Archer and Armstrong. In the bag, and then Archer and Armstrong, volume one through four, or volume one through five, sorry. Um, Shadow Man, volume one through five. Shadow Man is cool. Quantum and Woody, volume one and two, and then volume four. I'm missing the third volume. And then Eternal Warrior, one and two. And then down here, these are just some like old PS2 games and there's some PSP games in there, kind of dark. But yeah, those are just some of my favorite PS2 games. Yeah, especially Time Splitters and... There's like all the games I grew up with. Dragon Ball, Budokai, X-Men Legends, Spider-Man 2, Ultimate Spider-Man, The Hulk, Ultimate Destruction, Batman, Crash, you know, Battlefront. This is actually Battlefront 1 in there, the original one. Episode 3, Battlefront 2, a lot of Star Wars games, Knights of the Old Republic, Republic Commando, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, and then there's some PS1 games right there, yeah, Resident Evil, yeah, I think I have Resident Evil 3 in there somewhere, yeah, and Re Re Resident Evil 3 is like, right there, it's hard to see. But yeah, Resident Evil 2 and 3 are there. And then moving along. Uh, some of these are my girlfriend's comics. I'll let you know which ones. But that top one, Lola. That one's hers. Suburban Glamour. Yeah, a lot of these are my girlfriend's. Fly. Xenoscope. Death. By Neil Gaiman, which is... Like the sister of Sandman. 
uh, the cost, the high cost of living. It's another death book. Uh, Firestorm, the nuclear man, United We Fall. Justice League Dark, volume one through three. Aquaman, volume one through three. And then 52, DC, volume one through two. Just like a collection of like little one shots and stories that DC made and just put them all in like big books together. So that was pretty cool. Uh, moving down here, this is like kind of like the row of like the big like female DC characters. So starting with this Wonder Woman collection, a lot of this stuff's my girlfriend's. But if I can get this out. I actually wanted to show you how cool this is. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, this is like a collection of Wonder Woman, like, 75th anniversary collection, yeah. It's cool. But I actually got, um... Greg Rucka again. He actually signed because he did Wonder Woman at, at one point in his career. Um, he signed it to my girlfriend Sarah. Believe in the mission. So yeah, that was cool. Greg Rucka always writes those little quotes in there when he's signing autographs. All right, it's a little dark, but we'll work through it. Huntress, year one. Huntress, crossbow at the crossroads. Uh, Batgirl and the birds of prey, who is Oracle. This one is also signed. Uh, let me show you. Signed by the writers, Julie Benson and Shauna Benson, which I believe they're sisters. Uh, for Nick, made it out to us for Nick and Sarah. There's Julie and there's Shauna. So that was cool. Then we got the Paul Dini stuff. Gotham City Sirens. Volume 1 through 2. Uh, Poison Ivy, which, again, is also signed by Amy Chu. Which, there's her signature right there. Yeah, a lot of this stuff, a couple of these things are signed, so not everything, though. Harley Quinn, New 52, Volume 1 through 3. Batwoman. And Catwoman, which is my girlfriend's favorite character. Comic book character, 1 through 8. And then there's Catwoman. It's a different series. Wonder Woman, who is Wonder Woman. Gotham Academy 1 and 2, Coffin Hill 1 and 3, that's Vertigo stuff, t still technically DC. Death Vigil, Zatanna by Paul Dini, and then Gem and the Holograms. And going down, have some better light down here. Why the Last Man, Volume 1 through 5, Brian K. Vaughn, uh, DMZ. Brian Wood. Then there's like a little little thing we snuck in there. Inferno. That's my girlfriend's book too. She's a big fan of the Xenoscope books. Or that whole universe. Uh, got some Godzilla. Rulers of Earth. Artifacts. Animosity. Sandman Volume 1 and 2. Watchmen. Everybody has Watchmen in their collection, pretty much. The Darkness Accursed. Uh, Darkness Origins. And then... Witchblade Origins. Zombie. Or iZombie. Volume 1. Uh, Avengers Un Undercover. Venom. Devil's Pact. And here we got some artwork. There's Mary Jane and Spider-Man. There's Raven. Actually... Some other f pictures in the back. There's Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. 
And then there is Raven and Max from Life is Strange. If you guys haven't played that game, play it. I actually have a video on YouTube about the prequel right now, so you guys can watch that video if you want. Uh, Midnight Nation. Cool little book. Uh, the Last of Us, American Dreams, Mirror's Edge, Assassin's Creed, I Vampire, Supergirl, Red La Red Daughter of Krypton, X Men, Primer, and then this one's a little hard to see. The October Faction. It's a cool little series. Revolution, Rom, Micronauts, Wolf, Paper Girls, Horizon. The Beauty. This one was signed by the writers. I think it was signed by uh, Jeremy Hahn and Jason Harley. Yeah, that's them right there. Um, and then we're at Seven to Eternity and then Kill or Be Killed. Which is a really cool series. And then Witches by Scott Snyder right there. And then this stuff I will show you guys. This is like all stuff that's signed. I'll grab those ones in a minute. Uh, we got... That's that's Mark Silvestri, Cyberforce, the original. Uh, we got Uncanny X-Force, Volume 1. This one is signed by... Sam Humphreys, Humphreys, yeah, there's his signature right there. This one actually comes with the uh, certification authenticity. Uh, uh, X-Men, signed by Jim Lee right there. Uncanny X-Men. Uh, Grendel, signed by Matt Wagner right there. And then this, uh, Eclipse Volume, Volume 6, and then Volume 5. This, these ones are signed by Zach Kaplan. Yeah, right there. That's a cool series, too. So you signed those for me. Uh, Mother Panic, signed by Jody Hauser. Signature right there. Um, and then Batman Volume 25 by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. There's Scott Snyder right there and Greg Capullo right there. So that was cool. And then we got some, like, autograph stuff in there. But then we also have first appearance of Gwen Stacy, or Spider-Gwen. Signed by Jason Latour. So that one was cool. I'm glad to have that. And then we got... Got a signature by Vic Mignogna. I made that to my girlfriend. Very cool guy. He's a voice actor. He does a lot of voices for anime. And then this one is also for my girlfriend. I got this one signed for her. This one is signed by Blake from Ruby by the voice actress right there so that was cool and then this one I actually found for like 10 bucks which was cool it was actually autographed by Sam Whitner um, he did the voice for Starkiller and for Darth Maul and the Clone Wars and Rebels and I think he did the Emperor too but yeah that's signed and then there's a Certificate of Authenticity right there, so that is a genuine autograph. Yep, and then that's the end of that. Fables, Volume 1 through 7. Invincible, Robert Kirkman, Chu, Miss Marvel, Thor, Volume 1 through 2, Mighty Thor, Morpheus, the Living Vampire, Moon Knight, Spider-Man Encyclopedia, and The Crow. And then there's Ferris, which is like a 
kind of like a spin-off type of thing of fables but the crow I actually just recently got signed by none other than James Obar himself right there yeah, that was cool so yeah that's the end of that and then got some posters and stuff right there little spider gwen cup picture with stan lee it's me and my girlfriend and then picture of us with luna from harry potter horizon and then going over here We got some Doctor Strange, some Venom, some Infamous. And then we got this like little cool crossover poster of Marvel and DC right there, which is cool. Pick that up. Uh, we got some more statues alongside Doctor Strange poster there. Hack and Slash. Fate Zero, and then Spider Gwen. Here's my PS4 games. All right, there. And there's some down below. And there's some steel books right there. Actually, I got cool Injustice 2. Got that signed by Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman.